looking at those girls, uh, the smiles on their faces, the assurance, the hope, uh, the support they have received, uh, that's really encouraging and uplifting. Before I let you go, Friday is the big day, the final day. What should you be expecting? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, Austin. This is uh, letting uh, people in and around Edo State come and support us the more. On Friday, uh, Edo Queens, you know, they are the hosting club now. They didn't make the Super Four. We also want to give them the privilege and the opportunity to enjoy this two Super Four atmosphere on the pitch, just to know what it is like to play in the Super Four, in the Super League, so that next season they will work harder. We are going to be playing an exhibition match between uh, Edo Queens and Robo FC. Robo FC has been extended an invitation. They will be arriving in Benin City tomorrow to play that exhibition match before the final. So the exhibition match will be at 2 o'clock on Friday. Before then, we will throw the gates will be thrown open as early as from 11 a.m. We will also be mixing entertainment, music, and, and football on the day. We have um, a couple of uh, those states. Um, women uh, musicians who will be coming to show their support and identify and partner uh, with women's football on the day. And it, it, I, I can tell you that um, uh, we can already feel the atmosphere that really, truly, uh, the football family in Nigeria will know that indeed the women converge in Edo and something big happened there. And that is the Super Four, where the champion of champions will be crowned as the Women's Premier League uh, champion of the 2016-2017 season. That's right. Aisha Falode, I must say thank you so much for your time. The people of Edo State, we know that the ladies landed in Benin City. Thank you so much. We're waiting for the final day. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. For all the good work and the support you have given to this women's game, Channels Television, thank you so much. Uh, without you and the other media houses, print, television, radio, you have been a support and a worthy ally in this in this course. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. So that's it, the chairperson of the Nigeria Women's Premier League, Aisha uh, followed the uh, analyzing the, the Super 4. Now you know that women's football is big deal in this yeah. country. Uh, so if you're in Benin City, not just in Benin, uh, at Sabah and its environs, on Friday, just worry. go out there and see the best of worry. Yes, everyone in worry, you are invited. Go out there. I was so touched looking at the faces of I'm those kids at the Motor College. You know. uh, they saw ladies yeah. playing football, yeah. doing well, being breadwinners, and they were encouraged and motivated to live a career driven life. You know, I just love the way they've been able to package this Super Four and what they've been able to infuse into it and make it look that this is not just football. There's a lot more attached to it. This is, there's mentoring, there is management. You know, mm. we realize that, this, look at the inspiration that this, these kids would have gotten today from, you know, seeing these ladies speak. And I was just listening to Aziza Toshiola earlier mm. in the day you know, in a different platform. And you know, the importance of education in That's the life right. of, 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 a of a girl child cannot be overemphasized. You realize that, you know, an, an average football career, you know, if you last less than 15 years, they still have a lot more. There was a time a, 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 a girl child can go and tell mom and dad how to be a footballer. Exactly. How, how do you want to do it? You, you realize that this is, this is, this is massive. They, you shouldn't mm. just, they shouldn't just discourage their children from taking you know, their career in, in football. They, they should encourage them. That's right. they, they can make a living out of it as that ends over 12 million you know a, a mm. week and that's massive money you know it's also really this is a career and it goes a long way and uh, they should encourage their words to come out this is this is i just love the fact that they've been able to infuse it together and sell it as a brand and a product and so many of them must have been inspired and won't be yeah. i won't be shocked in future if they take it up as a career that's right and then to to every other person in benin city uh, and in some virus wondering oh why can i go out there to what the best of football we'll see some some pictures now i should mention that yes it's a big stadium yeah. we will not take everybody yeah. everybody will not come out there but they've had some good crowd come out there to appreciate women's yeah, football initially when i saw it you know she, she said that cameras would position themselves where they can they will position yeah. cameras where they can capture you know but, but but you can see that we have appreciable crowd i know that uh, for the next set of games definitely more crowd will come out and i do believe that they are they are doing everything they can to get people out doing all manner of uh, using various media outlets and but there's a lot more they can do to get people out but with what they've done so far it's quite encouraging mm, quite encouraging so pictures from uh, the nwpl super four um what a story it has been showing us that look to be the champion of champions you must yeah. be exceptional and that's the story because reverse angels uh with all of the talks and all the dominance, you know, show them, give them respect. Yeah. 
Give them respect, River St. Giles. They've actually shown superiority. And someone said on Twitter that um, River St. Giles are now waiting for the finals, <laughs> for the finalists of the ITO Cup. And right there, they will show their bet. Yeah, yeah, maybe Confluence mm. or, you know, Abia Warriors. I know Baba is, is an, you know, is Abia comments. But, but it's, obviously, they would want to take their pan of flesh. This has been a totally disappointing outing. I'm sure somewhere in their script, they never thought that they'll get whipped the way they've been, you know, against, you know, Nascarawa Amazon giving them, beating them 2-0. You know, Coach Edwin Cohn is still trying to recover from the whole thing. Irrespective of the fact that they would want to get a result against Bios Aquins, you know, it would just help to boost their morale. But deep inside, I know they are hurting. Mm. Yeah. So that's it, Rivers Angels uh, lost their first match to Delta Queens. In mm. fact, they were stunned. They lost by two goals to nothing. Their second game against Nassau Amazons, mm. and they were, at some point they were losing 2 0, but mm. they pulled one back, back. and it ended 2 1. So uh, for Delta Queens and Bielsa Queens, they played 1 1 in the second game, while in the first game, uh, Bielsa Queens won their match by a single goal. So it's just Rivers Angels at the bottom. At the bottom. Are yet rock to bottom. record. So sad. Are yet to record defending champions. Yeah, for defending that champions. Are, tell because, I mean, people just think that women's football is one way traffic. Yeah. You know, first in first, we completed the season mm. without walkovers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we wouldn't even hear much complaints about yeah. officiating. You know, state governments are beginning to show support. Yeah, That's the way. So, just say what's remaining is for uh, those fans out there that just talk about it. Just take your time, go to the stadium, yeah. give it some support, and that side will grow. You know, I was discussing with you earlier that mm. look, there is female football is, is just coming up now. You know, it was up before, but it was down, and then it's coming up. That's right. I do believe that a lot in terms of the media could be done to, you know, Aisha Valeria and her team could be done to also get people out. You know, I, I talked about getting to radio stations, you know trying to put the tickets out there, even having some form of raffle draw, encouraging people to come out, you know, something to incentivize it. You know, there's a lot they can do, but, but what they've done so far mm. is, is something that uh, we must give them credit That's for. That's right, give them credit, encourage them to do more. Sports tonight on Channels Television. Let's go on this quick break now. When we come back, we'll talk about what went down at the, at the National uh, Economic Summit Group. Shea Udiko, chairman of the, of the league management company, delivered a paper that was titled Football Means More. We'll get to know more about it when we'll come back. Stay.